my name is Megan, and I'm gonna show you a few exercises for your back. Now, the first exercise I'm gonna show you is a row, and what you can do for a row is you need either a bench, or if you don't have a bench, you can use a chair, and you're gonna get a pretty heavy size weight for this, because you can do probably more reps uh, with a heavier weight. And what I like to do is a one, one armed row, so you're putting all of your weight into your left arm here. You're going to pull, hold the right arm down to the side, and you're going to row that arm up. Just like you're trying to start your lawnmower, pulling back. And you're going to keep your abs up nice and in tight. Stay in a lunge position. All your weight is up here in the front, and row that arm back. Keeping the head in alignment with the spine, the belly button pulled up and in. And we're gonna exhale each time. I wanna press my shoulder down nice and low and pull that arm in close to the body and really row back towards the spine. Now if you don't have a bench or a chair nearby and you do have a stability ball, this is a great piece of equipment to use instead of something that's more stationary. If you have a stability ball, put it on its pin and same movement here but you're gonna put your hand on that ball and row here. Same thing here, only it's a little bit wobbly and it's gonna force your whole body to try and stabilize yourself. So more of your body is working during this exercise than just the back and the arm. So it's a great, great exercise to do for the back. You're gonna switch and do the other side, as many reps as you need to or as many reps as your program is telling you to do. Any of the exercise that I show you that involves sitting can be done on the stability ball. You can do an overhead press while sitting on the ball. You can do out to the sides, bicep curls. You can do an overhead tricep press. Um, you can do a lot of exercises while sitting on the ball. Anything that has to be sat in a chair or on the bench, you can do sitting on the ball. Your whole core is going to try to stabilize you while you're sitting here on the ball. All these muscles are going to be firing, trying to keep your balance while you're pressing those weights up and down. So all of this is going to be working. It's a, it's a great double, double whammy for the, for the exercise for the core. Um, another exercise for your back would be to get a little bit lighter set of weights. I'm going to get fives here. And you can do flies on the ball. This is another great exercise for the back that's really hard to do unless you have either a machine where you can do flies or you have a bench where you can do flies at an incline. So a great thing to do is come down on the ball, get your hips into the ball and your legs are out nice and straight to stabilize you. And you're gonna keep everything in alignment here nice and straight and you're gonna raise those light weights up. Raise them up, squeezing back so you're at a slight incline using that ball, squeezing through the back. <sighs> Exhaling each time. If this is too hard to do two at once, you can do one at a time. Stabilizing yourself with that other arm. And the wider your legs are out, the, the easier it's gonna be. It's gonna get you a little bit more stability. So spread those legs out wider to hold your balance. Uh, another thing that you can do for the back would be just a standing back um, extension. So your knees are going to be slightly soft. You're going to hinge forward at the hips so that you're just to flat here. Hands are up by the head and you're going to rotate over to one knee, back to flat, rotate over to another knee, back to flat, rotate flat, rotate, flat. That's going to squeeze all of those back muscles, firing up through the back. Make sure your belly button is pulled up during this exercise and it supports your back. Hold your rib cage together so all of this supports that back. Okay, another exercise for the back would be pull-ups. Now these are really hard to do if you don't have equipment in your home or if you don't have access to a gym. Uh, if you do have a treadmill, in your home, you can sometimes do pull-ups on a treadmill. Now, 
It depends on the type of the treadmill and how your specific treadmill looks according to the handles and, and things like that. But a great way to do pull-ups is with the treadmill. I'll show you. If you come to your treadmill, I always tell my clients to put their feet on the edges of the treadmill, not on the belt itself. And you're going to come down, hands on the sides, and you're going to lean back looking up at the back of the treadmill, pulling yourself up into a tabletop position, and you're going to pull right up here. Pull straight up to that treadmill back. Pull. Exhale each time. Now I'm not dropping my hips each time and pulling up and down here. Okay, I'm keeping in that tabletop position and just squeezing up through the chest. That's another good idea for pull-ups. Another exercise for the back would be pull-downs. Now it's really hard to do pull-downs or anything where you're pulling, which is a great way to work your back but it's hard to do that without some machines or equipment. So the equipment that will help is one of these tubes. Again, you can get these at your local Walmart or Target um, store. This one has a ball attached to it so I can hook it into my door. Make sure your door is closed nice and tight so it's not gonna pull open on you. And you can do a pull down here, holding onto the tube itself. I'm gonna stand away from the door, knees bent hips tucked, and I'm going to pull back, squeezing back, squeezing my shoulder blades back together. I'm going to exhale each time I pull. Try not to let those shoulders creep up real tall here, but you want to press them down while you're squeezing back. Bring the elbows in, back, back. Now to make this a little bit harder, you can go down onto your knees. That just makes that tube tighter and it makes it a more of a pull down instead of pull back. So you're really pulling down and back. Exhale each time. Keep that belly button pulled in tight, rib cage held together, and pull back each time. Now you're going to do as many reps as your program is telling you to, or as many as you can without stopping or until you can't do anymore. Another sh back exercise is hyperextension. Now, this is another activity that you would do at the gym with the hyperextension machine that would lock your heels into place and really let you extend up through your back. We don't have one of those here, and odds are you don't have one in your home, but if you do have a stability ball, I can simulate that exercise. Put the ball on its pin and come down again to the stability ball with your hips in the ball legs spread out nice and wide. You're going to come out over the ball, really round out over the ball, hands up by the head, and then we're going to squeeze up through the back of the body to flat, then back down to round over and up again to flat, down and round over and up again to flat. So I'm squeezing through the back of my body, my lower back is really getting a great workout here. Down and squeeze up. Now if you want, you can also add rotation to this. See, you would go down and come up at a rotation, down and rotate the other way. Straight down, rotate, straight down, rotate. Really open up those shoulders. If you need help doing this, you just push up and down to start with. Get that back strong and straight. You can hold up on the ball and push up. That helps get that, that back strong. And then as you get stronger, then you can start to use it without your hands. As a personal trainer and group fitness instructor, I personally use, believe in, and promote to my clients singular nutritional supplements to enhance their exercise program. Let me help you feel the benefits of these products. Contact me on Facebook at facebook.com slash zingmeeg or to order products now, go to zingular.com slash Megan Will. I look forward to hearing from you soon.